Last week, Cool Cats hired a new CEO. The PGA Tour made moves to establish itself in Web3, and a certain NFL team purchased their .eth domain name for $100,000. Find out which team and more in this NFT Weekly Recap by Metaverse HQ. We start the week on Monday, September 19th, which saw a lot of activity pulling in just under $12 million in OpenSea volume. Big winners of the day were Apes, a collection of AI-created art, and Heads, a profile picture collection from the original artist of the Pepe the Frog meme. The PGA Tour and the NFT platform Autograph partnered to bring professional golf moments to life and are expecting to launch in 2023. Tiger Woods has been named to the Board of Advisors and is a partner in the platform as well. OpenSea announced a new custom mint experience that aims to emphasize storytelling, simplicity, and security. The new experience is called C-Drop, and their first featured drop was the collaboration between OMG Kirby and Channel Trace. Moving on to Tuesday, which was International NFT Day. Not sure who exactly decided that, but I'm all for it. There was a total of $13 million in volume on NFT Day, due in large part to ENS domains, which are continuing their bull run. DraftKings Rainmaker platform continued skyrocketing in popularity after announcing additional contests with prizes such as Board Ape and CryptoPunk NFTs, among others. Rainmakers has recently made waves for combining NFTs with daily fantasy sports, and now they're luring in the masses with those lucrative prize pools. OpenSea also announced in a Twitter thread that they will be supporting Arbitrum NFTs. Several curated collections such as Smalls and Diamond Pepes will be the first onboarded as others slowly join the platform. On Wednesday, September 21st, Cool Cats announced their new CEO, Steven Telgus. The new chief cat has had previous experience at Disney, Warner Bros., and most recently, Recur Marketplace. On Wednesday, Azuki also got a ton of volume after rumors of an upcoming funding round were published on Twitter. Moving on to Thursday, Fidenza artist Tyler Hobbs announced original mentors of his new collection, QQL, will receive 2% royalties from all sales in perpetuity. It's an interesting take on royalties for sure, and one that is likely to get our boy Gary Gensler a little hot and flustered. Also on Thursday, Coinbase NFT partnered with the Chicago Bulls to auction off 21 different one-of-one -one pieces that were commissioned by various Web3 artists. They also changed their profile picture on Twitter to a ghost collab, which is super dope looking if you ask me. The New England Patriots signed a partnership with Chain, which will bring the future of Web3 to Gillette Stadium and the Patriots. They also scooped the Patriots.eth ENS domain for 75 ETH, which is about $100,000, and plan to integrate that into their branding. The weekend was relatively uneventful with an average of $10 million of OpenSea volume per day. Azuki opened a new section of their website called The Ruins, which is just like the alley and contains some bits of lore and clues that people can try and stitch together. Lastly, Jenkins the Ballet announced their novel Bored and Dangerous will be premiering on September 27th for holders of their NFT. Also, in case you have not seen it yet, Metaverse HQ has an updated website where you can see various services we provide, learn more about the team and vision, and also get some free alpha content. So go check it out and sign up to the Metaverse HQ newsletter to stay plugged in. That's it for this week. Of course, if you want to read the full weekly recap published by Metaverse HQ, you can do so on our Medium. And be sure to like, follow, or join Metaverse HQ to stay up to date on all things NFT.